I'm more impressed that such a big pill fits in such a small bag. <laughs> well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we'll be talking about links, or more specifically, why when links come out, a lot of stuff is gonna change because, for one, a new healer, so yay. But also, the amount of doors links can open actually insane because, for one, she has so much synergy with so much units, and also, she can allow players to proceed in MOC if you weren't fortunate enough to pull on the water or get by the look apart. So, if you have none of those units, Lynx is looking pretty nice and she paired with Fushun. So, basically, a lot of things gonna change for free to play players because, for one, they're finally a new 4 star healer. Because, I'll be honest, I know 5 star healers are very strong. Like, we see Lu Watch, and honestly, Lu Watch is such an insane unit, but basically, not a lot of people have Lu Watcher because, for one, actually, a fair amount of people have Lu Watcher, but a lot of people skip Lu Watcher for Silver Wolf, because I'll be honest, Silver Wolf is such a better character to have than Lu Watcher because I'll be honest, the amount of synergy and utility she can give over the healing Lu Watcher gave is so much better. So, I feel like a lot of people skip him. So if, if you manage to get links, you can have two healers finally and then after that you can work on probably getting different type of sustain but realistically, links is such a great unit to have because even though she's not a free unit and probably we are paying to get because if you're going for one specific 4 star, you might get the other two 4 stars <laughs> but realistically, you should try to get links because even though you don't want fusion or you don't like fusion, you should at least try to get links because links is such a goaded unit to get because the amount of teams archetypes she can open up, uh, the fact that she can be slotted in basically any team because she's a healer, the fact that she has synergy with destruction and preservation units that increase aggro to make them more likely to get hit, honestly that's pretty nice. And also the fact that links is being added is such a good thing for the game because for one, it's so hard to get some kind of sustain because if you didn't have Blue Watcher, your bad chance was either to get Bailu or get part and you weren't guaranteed to get Bailu or get part because they're from the standard banner and the only real way to guarantee to get Bailu or get part is basically to use your 5 star voucher thing to get a free 5 star. But realistically, you're not gonna use that on Bailu Gepard. I refuse to believe that when Bronya and Wealth is there. But overall, I'm very excited to pull links because for one, the amount of synergy she has with Blade, increasing max HP for Blade, increasing aggro. So basically, Blade will be more likely to get hit because Blade doesn't really have any aggro built into his kit or no way to increase his aggro. So basically, he has the base chance of aggro that all the destruction units have, which is decent but not really that high. So the fact that we could increase his aggro is pretty solid and his HP because HP like the equivalent of attack. So he basically doing like a pseudo type of attack buff in a sense. So that's pretty cool. And that same logic can be applied to Clara as well because for one, Clara will really appreciate the HP boost to make her more tanky and the fact that increased aggro is very nice because Clara already have a lot of aggro built into her kit so basically, it basically almost guaranteeing Clara to get hit more which is very nice because Clara needs to get hit to, to be more value for her damage so that's very solid for Clara. And obviously as a healer, she basically universally good for any team you can push she and that wants healing so basically she always will have value and healers have so much better value than Genshin Impact because in Genshin Impact you can dodge, you can use shields but in Honkai Star Rail basically every enemy has a guaranteed hit on you so basically healing more valuable in Honkai Star than Genshin Impact because I'll be honest 9 times out of 10 you go with the abundance unit to be your solo sustain other than uh, preservation unit because the only preservation unit in the game until Fushun comes out that can be your only sustain without a healer is Gepard and with Gepard you need a lot of investment in Gepard to be your only sustain because Gepard needs 135 speed and he doesn't get that true speed boost so you have to get that true substat and that can be sometimes hard because I'll be honest not everyone lucky enough to get substat on speed and you actually want some good defense rolls and um, affect hit rate because hit freeze is so big so Basically, only Gepard can really act like a solo sustain for if you have no healer. But basically, it takes more effort, and I think Fuchan can do it better. But a healer just have it so much easier because one healing always have value, and also 
Most, if not all, healers can run solo and face tank everything and can be only sort of sustained if you build recharge and speed boost on them. So basically, preservation units have competition, but when fusion comes out, it will level the planes. So you'll basically link this, just gonna have so much value by default because she just gonna be such a great unit to have on the account because and you will never regret having a fusion on your account. But uh, that's it, me rambling. But with all I said, I think that everything I want to talk about for today's video. So with all I said, thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it if you made it far. Let me know if you made it far, and I'll hatch your comment because I do appreciate you supporting me. Let me know what you do next, and let me know what you guys think about links. Do you like it? Dislike it? Let me know down below. Cause at the end of the day, I'm not gonna kill you, meh. Probably might kill you, but so comment and wait. Cause love that stuff. One way final thought is Lynx is gonna be such a good unit. She's really gonna change Honkai Star because she's gonna open so much gate to team comp and some people can finally be some MOC because they don't have to sustain or another healer. So with all I said, take care, love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.